Okay. Hey, everybody. It is Sunday night, 832 on January 5th. And I'm so excited to be on our team call. We do this every month. Pretty much it's always the first Sunday night, so you can mark your calendars. There is one or two coming up where I have to change it just because of travel. Um, but I'm so excited that you're all here. So in true Troutman Org fashion, if you can mute your line, if you're not talking, I would really appreciate that. Otherwise, I will go through and click in a second. But you can unmute at any point. It's an interactive meeting. I just want to get a good, clean recording for those that are unable to join us live tonight. And we always start in this organization with good news. So do me a favor. Tell me who you are where you're tuning in from or where you live and share some good news business or otherwise and just you don't have to wait for me to call on you everybody just take a turn and share at some point if it gets long i'll cut it off because i want to make sure we get through recognition and then exciting stuff but take it away who wants to go first okay i'll start um i am sarah mcclanathan um leader from beaver dam wisconsin and um, good news would be that um, drinking tons of water, and I'm super there, proud I got of that. Like five for five, super excited about that. And I'm um, just having a, a really full calendar for January. And my team is building a lot of momentum also, so super excited for them and the momentum that we're building for 2020. Woohoo! Thanks, Sarah. Congratulations on the healthy habits and also the team momentum. This is Sonia, I'll go next. So my name is Sonia Schultz. I am in, um, I'm a leader from Mountain, Wisconsin, which is basically in the sticks. You've probably likely never heard of it, which is okay. Um, my good news, let's see. So my good news is that A, my team is um, growing and that I totally just forgot one. Oh, I've had like four customers reach out to me today and cheering at how excited they were about their meals this weekend and that their kids and family are enjoying them too. So I was pretty excited about that. I love that. Thank you, Sonia. There's an awful lot of you on here, so I'm just patiently waiting in silence. Okay, I'll go next. Yay! <laughs> this is Karen uh, McAfee. I am in Maryland, and I am in month two of my fast start. And um, I had good sales in December, but I was really waiting for, I, I, not waiting, but I thought like things were going to kick off probably in January. And I don't know what happened on Friday afternoon, but like, I have had three parties and an online get booked. So um, I only have two open dates on the weekends in January left because um, I work a full-time job. So it's going to be hard for me to do evening ones. I'll, I'll fit some in, but it could be tough. But um, I'm really excited with how the rest of my January is panning out. So I love this so much. Yeah, I see lots of chat box cheering for you as well. Cassie just said, Wahoo, Karen, we're so excited for you. It's going to be an awesome month. Good for you. I'll go next. Um, my name is Christy Markman. I'm in Allenton, Wisconsin. And I'm in month three of Fast Start, which seems strange to me because I feel like I've been doing this a lot longer than just three months. And um, my January needs a couple more classes. Right now I have two, and then I committed to having a big open house with um, my sister in the end of the month. So I'm excited about that because it's the first time that I'm really putting myself out there with Epicure. So I'm excited. I'm super excited for you. Thanks for sharing, Christy. It does feel like I've known you much longer than I actually have known you. It's really weird. I'll go next. Um, my name is Sarah Rose Tapley. 
I'm from Canada. Um, my good news is after I had a one-on-one -on -one talk with Kayla and she told me I need to message people and not be shy of messaging people. I have a bunch of parties I need to um, put into my back office that got booked. And I, the other part of my good news is I'm really excited for a one-on-one -on -one training with Kayla tomorrow. <laughs> Yay, awesome job. Yeah, for anyone on this call, the biggest thing we let get in our way is fear. And sometimes it just takes somebody saying, well, fear is not going to pay your bills. So you might want to try this. And so that's amazing. So excited for you, friend. Thanks for sharing. Who else? Hi, it's Carol. Hey, Carol. How are you? How is everybody? Happy good, year? good. Um, I don't have anything booked, but I'm working on that. Uh, but uh, I did have one of my customers put in about three pictures of my Epicare product that I sold her and um, really was pushing it for me, which surprised me on Facebook. Is that allowed? Yeah, on Facebook? Or what do you mean she put in? What, where, she what do you put opening? it on my page. She put it on open. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We just okay. can't do a sale. Or Yeah, that's a good question, Carolyn. And this will help anybody, so I'll go ahead and answer it fully. Um, we just can't do it like a sale or a giveaway or like a, you know, like a do this and I'll give you this publicly. That would have to be done in a private group. But somebody can do a referral or tag you when they're sharing the products. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You want that. That's great. Okay. Yeah, it was really... Um happy about that and then um i've got some new leads that uh came up so i'm going to be hitting them this week we're going to be checking on we just bought our home and so now we're going to go get a line of credit tomorrow and she's the first one i'm going to hit up again <laughs> um the banker you know why not yeah sounds awesome thank you for sharing what a great thing the referrals are the best yes Okay, so I am Katie Heil. Um, I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, this month will be kind of my first month of really kind of hitting things hard. Um, so I have a couple of classes that are in the works and then I'm hoping for several more. Um, I'm going to start doing kind of more one-on-one, -on -one, um, having people over and just getting them familiar because I've had a lot of pushback kind of just people not sure what it's about um so i'm excited for that i think i have a lot of people that have reached out to me and are interested to learn more so that's pretty exciting um i just need to follow through with those contacts so that's where i'm at yay awesome i think we're talking about too i don't have my schedule right in front of me so if i say that to anybody else and you're like how does she not know I have a schedule and I manage it well. I promise it's not in front of me, but good for you. I'm excited for you to really kick off. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Can you guys hear me? I hope so. Okay. Yes. Hi. <laughs> um, my name is Alicia and I live in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Um, and so I'm in month three of Fast Start. And last month didn't end the way I wanted it to, but I'm, I'm really excited to kind of restart everything. So, um, I'm excited because I decided that um, I'm, I really like coming up with like food ideas and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to start in February to get my, um, like my group, my epic, what my group is called, um, but um, give them a chance to kind of um, put their two cents in. But I'm going to start doing weekly cooking classes live um, that my people in my group can participate in so they can cook while I cook. So I'm going to do like a weeknight cooking class with Alicia and, uh, use like the different meal kits and, um, do like other things with that. So I'm really excited for that because that's kind of something that, um, I think might get my group more participating and just something to, I don't know, be different about just because this way they can, you know, get the grocery list and do everything. And then it's like, you know, it's kind of like more real, I think, because I, sometimes I feel like it's kind of, people think cooking is harder than it has to be, especially with all that Epicure has to offer. Um, it's so much easier than people give it credit for. So um, 
I'm kind of excited about that. So that'll be fun. I love it. I did a lot of them actually my first couple weeks, uh, maybe like August, September. And I think it helped a lot to help people see how to use the products and like the steamer in action. You guys know this is huge. I can't recommend it enough. So I love what you're onto there. And I think it's always better to do live actual usage than to do scripted recipes any day of the week. So I think that's fantastic. Good for you, friend. Staying consistent. Awesome job. Let's do one or two more. Who wants to go next? Me. It's Courtney. Go. Yeah. Hey, Courtney. <laughs> uh, I'm Courtney Runderman. I am from Leroy, Wisconsin. So I grew up with Kayla, actually. Um, and I am in Fast Start Month 2. Um, and I have six parties booked for this month and ready to rock it out. Um, one's going right now. And then I go into a busy week next week. So super excited. We have one booked for February already and looking for five to 10 more. Let's see. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for sharing, friend. Who else? Let's do one more. I'll go. Um, I'm Lark. I hold by River in Rainsboro, Pennsylvania. And I'm just excited more for my calendar to be full, but my team, I know Karen shared a little bit earlier, but um, there's just a lot of momentum going into this month and hopefully that'll introduce us to some more people and just share this mission, so. I love that. I always say to people, Laura, tell me if you agree. It's way, I mean, it's awesome to have classes that they're so much fun. It's awesome to sponsor someone new. It's awesome to like, be the hostess and get free credits ourselves as a consultant. But the very best piece I think is when we see a team member finding their stride and their success. And I, yeah, you're shaking your head yes too. And Karen, your energy is contagious and, and others in Laura's team as well. And we're just really excited about that. And to many of you, not just Laura's team, but yeah, I just, I love that Laura. Thanks for popping on to share that. That's huge good news. So, okay, so two people, one knows I'm going to call on her, the other one doesn't know I'm going to call on her, so this will be fun. I wanted to um, have two people at least share tonight um, a little bit about their businesses because I just noticed them having, I might actually ask three, but two for sure. I know you guys love personal testimonies. This is the biggest thing I've heard positive feedback on since starting these Sunday night meetings as a group across two countries and we're, we're really widespread and you don't know each other as well as maybe I get to know you because I do coaching or mentoring. So I asked Sarah Jessic, which I should make sure she's on here. I didn't actually see her. Oh yeah, she's there, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Sarah is going to share a little bit. Sarah is um, a phenomenal future leader running for leader now with an incredible team. And she's actually a part of Mary's organization. And Mary, I know is proud as a peacock over there. Look at Mary on the screen. And so I asked, I asked Sarah to share a little bit and I didn't tell her what to share exactly, but she has incredible momentum. Her energy is so awesome. She is so coachable. She's just the ideal person that I want to get up in the morning and work with. And so I want her to share a little bit about what she thinks is either causing her success or something fun with you guys that I, I asked her to share what you, something tangible that you guys could take away and feel inspired by or encouraged by. So Sarah, take it away. Thanks. Thank you for saying that. That was really nice. Um, okay, so I'm Sarah Jessic. I live in Omaha, Nebraska, and I have been with this company since, what was it, July 8th? Uh, I was with a previous opportunity, but my success with the previous opportunity was very different. I've always been, I feel like I've always been good at sales, but I have not um, given myself the opportunity, I really want to say now I believe that, um, to be the leader that I can be. Um, I think I just kind of settled into, you know, this is just what I do. I just do parties and that's it. And when I moved over to Epic here this summer, I had a, um, I guess a mind shift really. I loved going to conference and, um, meeting all of you for the first time. I was, um, in a different organization with the other opportunity. So I knew Mary when I went to conference and that was it. And it was a little bit scary, but I felt so welcomed and right at home. And I have just blossomed, um, not only in Epicure, but in this team, in our 
in our organization here. And I um, tell everybody they, that I can, that I just love it so much. And that's just the truth. I said at my cooking class last night, I said, I don't want to be dramatic, but it has literally changed the course of my life. And I'm just proud of what I've done here. Um, I know that um, December, I actually had a December that I was really proud of. And at the end of December, I was really energized by a $600 cooking class three days after Christmas, because I went into that thinking, it'll be okay. She'll have a few family members there and you know it'll qualify but I mean I had no idea it was going to be a $600 class and so I felt like that really gave me the momentum to get started in January. I've already started the year off already with a cooking class and um, some sponsoring calls and that's just been or I guess recruiting calls um, it's just been really fun to keep that momentum going and that being said the I think I said already the biggest difference from last year to this year is my team. And it's one of my favorite parts of Epicure. It's fun to watch other women run with their businesses. And um, I just never got that opportunity before um, meeting new friends too. You know, uh, my teammate Jamie is having a phenomenal start. She's uh, finishing up her fast start, I think this month. And, you know, we just met in, what was it, October? I don't know if she's on here. Uh, we met in October and I feel like we're fast friends already. Um, I love being matched up with like-minded women and um, women like all of you inspire me. Um, okay, so I guess the last thing I wanna say is my biggest piece of advice, even beyond being brave and being confident, is to be coachable because you just have to do the work and I think that being brave comes along with that. And um, it's actually, this is silly. You guys are probably laughing at me, but being coachable works. Doing the work, it works. So that's where I'm at right now. So thank you all for giving me the chance to talk and hopefully um, you liked it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. You're so cute. First off, make sure you go read all the comments because there's lots of love pouring okay. out to you. And a couple of them that stood out was do anything you can to get to conference. And it's so true. We've got a big organization traveling together and then you meet the greater organization and Dana's group and then you meet the greater company and what's cool is I wouldn't have known Sarah as well and her roommates wouldn't know Sarah as well and she wouldn't have those cool connections now and stuff um, and also just I guess the biggest thing is do you hear Sarah's mindset it's just really positive even when stuff doesn't go well and she's had some disappointments or down moments in Epicure it hasn't been all sunny like each of us but it's just so great how she handles it even if she gets frustrated she sends a message and tells me why she's frustrated and then she'll say, but I'm going to go do this and this and this, or I'm going to go do something with my family and come back later. And I just, I want you to hear that. Sarah, you're just very, well, I'm going to cry. I can feel it coming. Um, you're just really encouraging. And it's a really big blessing to work with you and Mary more than just going to take a second. Some days it's not always easy to be, um, the leader when something is going wrong or with the company and the insurance thing the other morning, I know some people we had forgotten about that insurance fee and that can feel really like Eh, right and so while some people were saying not such nice things um and i know that they didn't mean those either i just love always that i can come to the coaching messages with you and mary and they're just always positive and i really appreciate that so i just wanted you to know that so thank you for talking well i regained myself over here i am going to ask courtney renderman who did not know i was going to ask her to share tonight courtney would you share a little bit about why you jumped into epicure and what you think is causing your tremendous success from the start Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm trying to clean my room as we're doing this because I need a fresh start to the week. It's month end at my work. That's so. okay. You don't have to apologize. I totally put you on the spot. We all are excited to see now what you're going to say. No worries. Um, okay, repeat your question one more time, Kayla. So I want you to share what made you jump into Epicure and what's causing your immediate success. Obviously, you're an organized person getting your shit together for the week. So that's impressive right there. But yeah. that's what I want you to share. What do you think is causing your success? Um, okay, what's causing my success? Um, I've had some leadership uh, skills and education in the background, um, but I'm driven, I'm dedicated. Um, I am constantly reaching out to Kayla. I bug the shit out of her. Um, <laughs> I know you say no, but I've, if I have a question, I'm not afraid to ask it. Um, and I do have a really wide circle, so I do reaches. Um, I've talked to Kayla, I've talked to Nate, just figuring out what's gonna work for me. I set my schedule every week. Um, I have all of my posts done through like January. I've done 
most of my February posts already um, for on my page. And I just, I'm, I'm really into this business. I see what Kayla has done with it. And I know that I can do that as well. Um, but I also have food allergies, so I'm really into these products. Um, so I just came down with a lot of allergies. I have like 31 items I cannot have right now, or I'm choosing to avoid. So this is really helping me because gluten is obviously one of the big um, chunks of my allergies. So having my meal plan and just prepping all of that um, is keeping me going. And I just am open to new opportunities um, and sharing all of my joy for this company, for the food um, with everybody. So, yeah. I, I love it. it. Yeah, I asked, I actually picked Courtney ahead of time because I was hoping you were on Courtney because you do work full time and you're managing a busy schedule and um, you're a great example of just like having a plan. Like Courtney is not winging her business to have the kind of bookings that she has on her calendar and work a full time job. She is planning it. So you heard her say a couple of things. And if I missed something, yeah, Sonia just said, thank you. I agree, Courtney. Like those are helpful tips. You plan your social media content and you know what you're going to share. You have a full calendar by doing reaches and connecting with people. And you're also doing a really good job of booking at your classes. So you're yes. keeping momentum going. So that's huge. We're, that's going to be our training topic tonight. So if that's something you struggle with, we're going to get to that in just a minute. Um, but it sounds to me like you just work it like a business. You're really proud of it as a business. And then also with that, it's fitting into your lifestyle changes that you're being, I don't want to say forced to make because it's choice. You're choosing to, but you want to figure out the health things going on. So did I summarize that well? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's totally it. I think time, um, you have to create your time. That's the biggest thing is like, if you want something, you have to have your, if you dream it, you can declare it and then you have to deliver it. So the follow through is really necessary. If you set aside your time, you have a plan, um, there's, there's no way that anybody can't achieve this. So yeah, can you absolutely. say that one more time for anyone taking notes? You dream it, say it again. It's three D's. So I live in three D's. Um, dream, declare, deliver I and then it, like if anybody's friends with me on Facebook for my 2020 goals like I put that in there I am constantly throwing out my dream and then if you dream it you can declare it and then you deliver it so I love it thank you so much for sharing yeah I love it love it love it okay the last person I want to call on um this is my last minute because I think she can add something else awesome that these two ladies um maybe didn't quite touch on yet. So Christy, you share during good news, you've got lots of momentum going, you're doing a big open house. And it's something that I've had a uh, repeat on lots of my vision calls this month and lots of my um, coaching calls uh, this month, meaning December into January has been, I did another business in the past and I'm feeling kind of icky or embarrassed or spammy or what are people going to think of me? So Christy, I hope you can talk. I should be looking at my thing to see if you can. Um, I wanted you to share just a couple of minutes about how do you think that you're handling now a few months in again, it feels like it's been a half a year or a year that I've known you, but you did other businesses in the past and you did them very successfully, one in particular. And so you've had to really change gears. This is a new company, different mindset, different team. Um, and I'm sure there's good pros and cons, but one of the biggest things that can hold us back is what people think of us. So I want to know if you have any advice on how you're overcoming that and how you're feeling about that and, and just advice for the team. Yeah, I'm totally. So, okay. There you are. Yes. Go Christy. So I was really, really struggling with this and that's funny. Because oh, wait, are you, is she quiet to everybody I, else or is she just quiet to me? Oh, I think I was over. Now you got mind. louder. Now you got louder. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, so I was really struggling with, with my mindset because when I do something, I, I'm all in and I want to do it all the way and I don't want to disappoint anybody, including myself. So when I stepped away officially from a business that I'd been with for almost nine years, which is a third of my life, I was really struggling with it, even though I'm so excited about Epicure and everything about Epicure, I really was thinking, what is everybody gonna think of me? And the fact is, people probably aren't. And um, also, Marcianne had something really fabulous that she said her husband said about switching businesses, and this really resonated with me, and that was 
you know, how is this any different than changing jobs? People don't talk about somebody when they get a new job. They don't wonder what the heck they're doing. They don't, they just don't do that. So how is it any different with direct sales? And that was the one thing that I needed to hear to get me out of this funk of, you know, how am I going to announce to officially to my friends and family who haven't just been watching me be excited, you know, in real life, how am I going to really announce this, you know, because I'm over it. And so I decided to host an open house, like I mentioned already at the end of the month and I'm doing it big and I'm so excited. I'm sending out postcards and everything. And this is what I need to do for me to make sure that everybody knows that this is what I'm doing and I'm all in. I love watch the recording. Um, I loved that advice as well that she gave. I thought that was fantastic. And thank you, Christy, because I'm so excited for you. I know what you're capable of, and I know there have been some some chains holding you back just from, and this happens to everybody for different things. Maybe it's not a past business for you, but maybe something Christy shared tonight will still encourage you. We all have fears or things that hold us back and they can be really real to us. Even if your coach tells you 70 times, nobody cares, Christy, that you're working at the cure now versus something else. It's not the same as when you believe it and change it. So awesome. Thank you, friend, for going on the spot. I will see you tomorrow morning, hopefully at 530. Um, to everybody quick on this team, if you do not know this, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, a group of us get up and work from 530 Central until you have to get off, basically. And that Zoom line is posted in the pinned post in our page under announcements. And if anybody has a different time of the the week or day, any day that they would like to host one of those, that Zoom line is there for that reason. It's a 100, like 24 seven around the clock, 100% open Zoom line. And you can just use it as long as it's not in the evening like this and there's a meeting. Cause when I click to go in it, I'll kick you off otherwise at that time. But as long as it's not a meeting time, um, that's there. So meet with each other and get to know each other. And that's Christy, maybe that's why some of us feel like we've known you so long. I see you three days a week with your littles and getting them up in the morning and it's a really big blessing. So. Okay, let's quick talk about a couple of housekeeping things. If you are still in your fast start, make sure you know what month of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking, but I'm actually gonna look at all of you on my big screen so that I can see your faces. Um, make sure you know what month you're in in fast start because fast start is so lucrative. So if you are still in it, month one, two, or three, make sure you go grab it, you know where you're at, and reach out to your upline and ask for help. There's three ways to earn, doing cooking classes, sponsoring, and helping others rank advance or rank advancing yourself. Does that make sense to everybody? And if you joined us in July, you have till the end of February to earn the big, big leader bonus of 750. Plus, you still get all the other bonuses. You still get the 375. You still get the 200, the 250, all of the different things that are on the, the path to that. If you joined, um, we have to back, someone can maybe backtrack this for me and type it in the notes, but figure out if they joined in September and their month one was October, what does that give them until I think it would be March wants to figure that out for me. I'd like just to, to give them the notes below. Sarah said, sure, she'll figure it out. You get six months. So your month one, plus you get month two, three, four, five, six to earn leader to get the big bonus at the bottom of faster. But everything else is done in your first three months. Does that make sense? Shake your heads yes if I'm saying that clearly. So that makes sense. So even if it took you longer to get started, even if you missed all three months so far and you're in month four or five, it doesn't matter. You can still earn that big fast start bonus and the other compensation bonuses. So don't get too wrapped up in what you do or do not achieve. Just know where you're at and let your leader know what you want to go for. Okay. Second housekeeping thing on Sunday nights, I think a couple of you forgot because a couple of you were sending me messages during this and I, and you were talking to me like the, the team meeting had already started, which made me feel like you do not know, or you forgot that on Sunday nights at eight o'clock, someone from our team or Carissa's team is live in our discover Epic living group. So nod your head if you know what that is. Okay. You don't have to use it. It's not the right way to recruit. It's just a way to share the opportunity. It's a free way for you to do it. There's great information out there. It's a great place to tag people midweek. If they're curious about the business, we've got pictures of the business kit. We've got fast start explained. Um, and we're going to have all that going off again in January. We try to recycle through and make sure we're educating people. And then we've got live videos every Sunday night. So if you are not utilizing that group, 
do it or make sure you're utilizing your upline leader or somebody in this team that you know would be great on a call. Um, all of us want to help you. So if you need help sharing the opportunity, answering questions, doing a three-way chat, please reach out. Those are two great ways and they're available to you as a part of being, you know, in this organization, our Sunday night opportunity events or a three-way call with your sponsor. And don't get me wrong, sometimes guys sponsoring somebody is as simple as Christy, can you tell me more about Epicure? And Christy says, yeah, I'd love to. What do you want to know? And I say, well, I'd like to know about the kit. Are there any minimums? She sends me just what I'm asking. You don't need to vomit Epicure all over people. And then I, and then I say, there's no monthly fee. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the products. I think I want to do this and make a little extra money. And Christy says, perfect. Would you like me to call you to get you signed up? Or do you want to send me your information? And then I'll start to go through the process with you. We have all of that laid out for you. So don't overcomplicate the process, but just know that if your person is asking for more information and it's not as simple as tell me the kit and sign me up, then we have tools for you. Does that make sense to everybody? I know a lot of you have big sponsoring goals and big rank advancement goals. So it's good to touch on that. Okay. That's part of the call. Let's do some recognition. Um, well, I mean, my training is going to be awesome. So stay tuned. Don't hang up after the recognition, but one of the best parts of the call is going to be, um, recognition tonight. So let's quick talk about some fun, just numbers that I pulled. I'm just impressed that I knew how to pull these. So somebody silently give me a round of applause. Um, numbers are not my strength. I'm not an accountant. I went to school for human resources because I like to talk and interviewing is all talking and listening. So that's perfect for me. Um, a total year to date, what we sold since the go live date of Epicure, which was, was it Nate's birthday, August 20th? I feel like it was the 20th we could put sales in. Nate's birthday through the, through December 31st, we sold as a team 400 and $84,000, basically $484,000, which is a lot, almost a half a million dollars in that time. And that equates to 586,000 QV, which is crazy. So, and that we're, we're recognized on QV and Epicure. So that's pretty exciting. We added 266 team members. That's where our team sat on December 31st. And we've had so many rank advancements. I tried to sit and count them all the way. I reached out to a couple Canadians to figure out how to do that. And it was so many that I actually asked corporate if they could bring me a report to Utah because it was taking me a long time to figure it out. So cross your fingers that I get that because I want to know how many senior consultants, how many VIP, how many executive. But for this month's call, we're going to celebrate the four rank advancements, the four first time rank advancements we had in December. So we had um, Ms. Cassie Williams promote to senior consultant, Christine Allen, senior consultant, Marcy Ann, I think Stuart, am I saying this right? If I say your name wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not drinking wine, so I promise I'm not drinking. Senior consultant and Rachel Horde, senior consultant. So four unique promotions in December, which is so awesome. I'm so proud of you. I see the recognition and the cheering below. So keep that up, you guys, in the comments. That's super fun. Um, we also had so many people in their fast start still achieve fast start. So let's do something fun. If you were in still in fast start in December and you're on, will you raise your hand if you hit fast start, whether you sponsored someone and got a bonus or whether Courtney, I know you did your classes. Anyone else on that did that? Makes it easy for me to recognize. I gotta turn the page here. There's so many of you on, I have to flip screens. How fun is that? Some of you are like, oh my God, so thanks you drank. I didn't. Um, quick little plug before this, before Discover Epic Living, I went to the movie and Sarah asked how it was. And many of you have also Facebook messaged me this question. So I'm just going to answer it publicly. The spy movie that's out for kids, definitely worth the money. Super cute. Sam told me it was cute. It's very, very cute. So now you don't have to Facebook message me. I'm telling you all public service notes, but spend your money. It's a really cute one. Okay, let's go into, ooh, a fun one. Who did four classes or more last month? Who closed in their back office four classes or more? Yay, I see hands. I saw Jamie, Sonia, Courtney. Awesome job. Who is booked this month? I see Rachel did her hand raise in the comments. Who's booked this month with new hostesses? How many of you have someone new on your calendar? Oh my gosh, almost everybody. That's so exciting. If you don't, set it as a goal to get someone new on your books because um, who wants to explain this? Who wants to explain the purpose? Why, why do we celebrate and recognize the excitement of having new people on your calendar? Who knows? Who wants to talk? Mary, yeah, Mary. Every time you have somebody new, it is in increasing your circle of people that you know, and then you have more people that you can booking chain with and or invite to join you on your team. 
Yeah. Appreciate and what is it? What is a booking chain? Can you tell them what a booking chain is? Um, from what I gather, I've never really heard that word before. Epicure. It was never given to us before, but um, you book you book one party, they book from you, the next one is from them, and it all connects back to that first hostess, really. So when you have one hostess and you have somebody that books from her and then somebody that books from her and somebody that books from her, that's a really nice long chain. And they may or may not have those people in common. So if they don't, then you're just even reaching more people. And honestly, when I was first, um, I was first a consultant in our last opportunity that used to sort of scare me. Like, what if I don't know these people? Like, I don't, what if I don't really want to know them? You know what? They're all friendly people. They just want to eat. So lose that, that whole, I don't know everybody problem because they're not going to be crazy people. I promise. Well, you might get a clunker or two. We can talk about that another time. <laughs> So okay. true. We're going to talk about this, but we're going to finish recognition and we're going to go back to booking chains and we can talk yeah. about, yes, once in a while you get someone who, um, yeah, clunker is a good word. That's nicer than what I would have said. Those of you that know me would have, that would have but been um, R rated. Yes. You need booking chains. So that's why we celebrate that. Look at all the awesomeness, the momentum you guys in this organization. Look at, I wish I could take the time. I don't, I just don't want the recording to get to be two or three hours long because no one will watch it then. But if I could take the time and read each of your names, I would, because you matter as an individual here, hitting a fast start goal, having someone new on your calendar, having four classes last month in December. Like those are really, really exciting things. And we're so excited for you. Um, I'm going to do our top 10 in sales. And I will note if they hit bonus club this month as well and everybody can earn bonus club no matter what level you are you can be a brand new consultant or you can be um you know a global director if you sell over 2000 qv you get a bonus so make sure you're watching your numbers in the back office and i try to reach out to you if you're close but in number 10 spot so this is our organization overall top 10 um q yeah, i recognize by qv i wanted to make sure so this is not sales this is qv um and i do this every month because it's exciting to know where you fell amongst your entire global organization and these people don't know where they fell I don't tell I sometimes share stats throughout the month and stuff but nobody knows where they fell until this call usually on Sunday so um, Jessica Huffman in spot number 10 with 1849 amazing job friend in December Miss Mary who was just telling us all about bookings she's still up on my screen front and center so I get to, to make eye contact with her at 2020 QV so bonus club right there she's our first bonus of of the month. Um, next up, we had Tanya at spot number eight at 2305. Tanya is a future leader. So wave Tanya if you're on. We're so excited for her. She's in Sarah's organization, um, Sarah McClanathan, and she is running for leader as well, which is really exciting. Um, spot number seven is Jenny Wassenberg. And if I'm saying that wrong, Jenny, you'll have to let me know. I know you were doing bedtime and going to try to get on tonight. 2344. And you guys, Jenny signed like the last week of November. So December was truly her first month. Um, in business and she hit fast start as well, which is really exciting. Next up, Sarah Jessic, spot number six at 2410. Incredible with a team volume of 5,075 QV in December. That's crazy awesome, my friend. And way quick recognition, way to already have held cooking classes this month and sponsoring conversations. That is where it's at, my friend. Next up, Sonia Schultz. I can't call her a new leader anymore because she's crushing it. Um, two months under her belt, just totally a rock star in mentoring her team. 25.52 with team um, QB at almost 7,000 last month in December, which is awesome for a new leader. Next up, Laura Keholtz at 29.21. Again, locked in second month in numbers. Both of these ladies, Laura and Sonia, um, just earned the Leader Jumpstart Collection, which is that beautiful tote bag to use to take to your classes and all kinds of things. This company totally spoils you at every level, but that leader level is that first, like making it big, where you just get, I would just say you're making it rain for yourself. Lots of incentives and prizes and trips and things. So congratulations. Next, I lost count. Let me see how many more there are. Okay, third, <laughs> number three in sales. So, so um, Sarah was, I mean, Laura was four. Sarah McClanathan is number three this month in December with 3,320 QV and 13,000 as a team. 
Amazing job, friend. I'm so proud of you. Number two spot, Samantha Breister, senior leader in our org at 4550. Incredible personal volume. And again, um, qualified as a leader in December. Really big things to celebrate. And then our number one spot, Miss Rachel Crofts at 5563. Team volume at almost 11,000 QV. Um, such a rock star. So thankful for your hard work, Rachel, and your dedication. And three personally sponsored consultants in the month of December. So huge recognition there. Uh, I'm going to pull up the numbers that we welcomed as a team right now. I'm going to quick run that report. And while I switch over to that, I want to do some quick trip tracking recognition because there's several of you chasing down that trip and there's several of you that already earned it. So we're going to go with our three friends that have already earned trip for two to Mexico. We've got a number one spot in our team, Sarah McLenathan. Um, she's earned the trip for her and Jason with 64,000 plus points as of the other day. Rachel Croft's trip for two already earned at 63,000 again plus. I ran this a couple days ago and wrote it down. And Samantha Breister trip for two already locked in. The other day she was over 55, five, I think something like that in points. So that's already locked in. Next up, cool, I'm getting so excited. Miss Kendi is right behind them, 38,000 plus. And so 45,000, you guys, those of you listening, is trip for one. So Kendi, you are so stinking close. Mary is right behind that at just over 37,000 points last I checked. We have Jess Huffman at over 30,000. Sherry Eyde at over 26,000. Sonia at over 25. Sarah Jessic. 23.9 last time I checked and Shelly Winkers over 22,000. Now again these are probably up even a little bit since last I checked but those are our top 10 current trip trackers in this organization and if you don't know and, and I have a post coming up this week so you guys can understand my vision board a little bit more but the President's Club trip isn't on my vision board so that Nate and I can go on the trip anymore. I'm going to go on that trip because I love pina coladas and the beach. But I want you guys to earn that trip if it's a part of your vision, if it's something that you would enjoy and it's something you want to earn. And my, my vision is 10 people from our organization going on every trip at least, plus spouses, and filling one of the big dinner tables at one of the restaurants as a team and just cheersing together and spending time and maybe drinking tequila shots. I mean, that's optional. But if that is something on your uh, goal board or something you want to achieve, I can't wait to help you do that. Let's quick talk about who joined us. Um, in December, how many? I wanted to give you guys a number quick. I am running that report, I got distracted. And then we'll move on to our training topic for the month. We are gonna to talk tonight. Okay, let's do this. So since December 1st, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I should have added this up before this call, I'm so sorry. We had 20, one people join us in December and we've already had five sign up in January. Who thinks that's awesome? Let's do a round of applause for that. I'm so excited. So if you're one of those newbies, welcome to our team. We're so excited to have you and we can't wait to be announcing you on the leaderboard, announcing your name for recognition, seeing you wave your hands and introduce yourself on the next call. Okay, training topic. We've got 15 minutes left. I'm going to keep it on task and on, on time tonight. I'm really proud of myself here. January. Killer month. So let's unmute ourselves. Let's take a turn. Who wants to say one thing that currently right now is like this month's big thing? So we've got quite a few big things, but I want to take some turns and hear from different people. So what's one of the big things going on in January right now? The four in one mandolin. Yes, the hostess exclusive. Awesome job. Yes, your hair up looks beautiful. Um, I love that Hostess Thanks. exclusive. They can purchase it for $13 with a qualifying class instead of 26. You guys can also purchase it if you are hosting your own class and you want to get it. If you haven't tried it yet, it's awesome. It cuts beautifully. How many of you have used it so far? I saw lots of you doing some really good teasers. I'll probably have to take your pictures because I'm scared to cut my finger off. I haven't done it yet. Um, so <laughs> everyone's shaking your head. Yeah, like you know what I'm talking about. Thank you. That is a wonderful thing. That's available January 1st through the 31st to hostesses that host now. If your hostess does not claim her credits in January and the month flips, they will then be choosing from February's exclusive. Does that make sense to everybody? The hostess has to claim her credits this month. Um, so you have to close the class and claim credits. Otherwise it flipped. So like my December hostesses did not get the apple pie spice if they waited till this month to claim their credits. They can now get the mandolin. So after February, when the class closes, the credits will all stay there 
but then you'll they'll split host as specials. Does that make sense to everybody? Shake your head yes. Okay, cool. Well, so I don't want to say what the host the other hostess thing is. I want someone else to say it. So who wants to say what else? I will say what somebody said in the comments. Double host credit or rewards, double dollars. Yes. Yes, it's awesome. So use the graphics in our team page. Use the graphics in your back office under business tools, marketing. It is double hostess rewards. So hit 250 in sales with four orders and you get double the credits. And guess what? It's not coming out of Sarah's pocket or Karen's pocket or Christy's pocket or Kendi, oh, Kendi, your sweet little ones in the video, I didn't see it till right now, or Kendi's pocket, it's coming out of Epicure's bottom line. So is the other half of that mandolin. That's coming from the company. So that's a huge thing going on in January. Okay, awesome. So we got double credits. We got a really fun hostess exclusive. What else is going on in January? Speedy lasagna. Yay, I was waiting for someone to say the food because I'm all about the food in this business. Okay, let's be real. If you were with, okay, if you weren't with Wild Tree, close your ears. If you were with Wild Tree, this is way better than the skillet meal. Way less sodium and it's really yummy and it's three for nine instead of two for 10. I mean, do I need to say any more to convince people to buy it? It's delicious and it can be made in a frying pan. It can be made in your steamer. It can be made in a pan in the oven. Rose just said it's really good. It's really tasty. So if you haven't bought your own lasagna, Speedy lasagna, go buy it. That's on your homework for this month. And if you have it, make sure you're showing it off and staying consistent on social media. This is the perfect place for me to interject a little bit of tough love. Please do not always take everybody else's pictures and throw something up on Facebook and think that people are going to be attracted to that or buy it. Kind of like uh, Alicia was saying, you got to put your spin on it. So if you don't want to go live, that's okay. She's going to try live demos. I think I saw a couple of people encouraging her and saying, I love that idea. But you know what? Cook some food in your kitchen and just take a picture. It can be on a paper plate. It can be fancy and staged. Make sure it's well lit enough that people can see the colors and if you can show the packaging. But you guys, people want to see you this year in 2020. So this is a good place for me to interject and say, add some personality. The reason somebody's going to buy the speedy lasagna from me and not you is simply because I'm really excited about it and I've ate it twice. I tried it so I actually know what it tastes like and I can say it's really fun in a frying pan. I'm probably going to always make it that way. To be honest, I'm just still too lazy for the speedy lasagna, which is really funny. My husband called me out on it. He's like, you just don't want to take the five minutes to like whip it together when you can just throw it in a frying pan and it can just look like slop, but it's so good. That's me. So my customers love that about me. They know that I'm not going to tell them it's fast if it's not really fast. Find your groove. Karen might be a chef. Sarah might be prepping it in the morning and cooking it even. And all they have to do is reheat it after religion. Each of you are different. Show your personalities this year and be consistent. If you skip days in your VIP group or you skip days showcasing what Epicure is, people see that. And you know what they ask themselves? Is she serious about her business? Or is this like a, a thing she's doing? So my best advice to you is to, to take it serious this year. Does it have to be a lot of labor? No, I literally will prep the meal and I always snap a picture. If I forget, then I just share something different. Like just be as consistent as you can be or be Courtney and plan it out ahead of time. And then any extra things you show that week are bonus. It's okay to post in your VIP groups two or three times a day. I wouldn't do more than three times. People are literally going to think like, what is she doing? But a couple times a day is actually right now what's trending on social media trends. They say it's okay. So just wanted to really quickly interject that consistency and doing your own thing. I'll tell you a secret. I have 30 posts scheduled every month. I do something every day. A lot of them are engagement or it's a picture from the website or it's stuff that I took. A lot of you saw my quinoa post on, I think it was like December 28th. I actually had made that quinoa like a month or two ago and just never showed the photo. So I scheduled that. But then every day when I'm cooking, I also share that meal as well. Does that make sense? So there's never a day that nothing goes off. And a lot of days there's two posts that go off. Everybody good with that? Okay. Last thing on this, as long as I'm talking about January, it's really good to keep sprinkling in double hostess credits, but you can't just post in your group. And I've seen a lot of you do this. So I was guilty years ago and then someone told me not to. And now I'm going to tell you, you can't just post the graphic and say January is double hostess credits. People read that and they're like, so what? They don't even know what that means. You want to say something like, hey, anybody up for gathering a few friends? And when they shop, you get double the rewards this month that's more enticing, right? Or, hey, you guys, I still have three dates open for a charcuterie board party. Throw in some extra dates in because Epicure just announced bonus credits or double dollars or whatever. I think the biggest mistake we make is we put something up and we forget everybody else isn't thinking about Epicure 24-7.
In fact, nobody is except for you. And hopefully not you either. I want you to have work-life balance, but nobody cares like you do. So you got to tell them why that graphic matters. But my rule on social media is 80% service-based food and fun and kitchen solutions and 20% why to host, why to join. Does that make sense to everybody? And then you can go dig in more finite. There's um, a lot of you are reading Melanie Mitro's social media book and things. Follow her rules, of course, if you're going to do her program, but this is a good general place for this team to start. Okay. So 80, 20, what's coming up in February? Who knows what the hostess exclusive is then? Who wants to talk about that? Square steamer. Yeah. Anybody else excited? Mine's going to be here soon. <laughs> then maybe I'll make this video lasagna and that just because I got to use it. But I'm super excited that that'll be our exclusive next month. What that means is that when your hostess has a qualifying class again, they can choose that as their exclusive. Anyone know what the taste test is? You don't know what it is yet. That was a trick, but there's going to be one. So get excited. I can't tell you, but every month there's going to be a taste test, something exciting coming out. And then who knows what it's really important. May 1st, what's going to happen May 1st. Share. Yeah, go. Sonia or Sarah, I see you guys lifting it. Someone share. New catalogs. New catalogs. New catalogs. <laughs> yeah. So everybody marking your calendar right now. Are you guys ready? I will be at conference April 1st through the 3rd. Good. You all wrote it down. So you're all coming. Excellent. So you'll be at conference and then you'll get to hear about the new catalog and why we're going to link up with the Canadian site. So poor Rose won't have to hear about our exciting things over here in the USA because 97% of our organization right now is USA, but we're going to get her, um, we're going to get her in on that because we're all going to have the same catalog and the same specials. Does that make sense to everybody? On May 1st, we will be this one company, one global catalog. Of course, pricing will be different, but we will be one, one company. So you're going to want to be at conference in April because it's our last month with this book and we're going to hear all the exciting things about the new catalog. You're going to get training, recognition, all the things. So please seriously go in our team page under events. Go see the conference event. Christy's going to help me manage this. Misty is awesome. She's such an organized person. We're, we're looking at the Rio or a different hotel offsite again, just because it's so much savings. But right now, flights have been running pretty good. I did lock mine in right around 300. And I know Sarah even, Sarah McClanathan can't come this, this year, but I saw her type earlier, do anything you can to be a conference. And she's right. I, I never would have believed it years ago. A conference is an experience that you really can't put into words. And here's what's going to happen then. We're going to come back from conference with all that knowledge and then we're going to have our new season launches so wherever you're closest to a leader you're going to link arms with that leader and attend a season launch and you're going to get to taste new product you're going to get to see the new catalog you're going to learn all about it and then come may 1st we're going to launch so every month up until then there'll be a hostess exclusive and a taste test product. Who thinks that's awesome? Who thinks it's such a great booking tool at your classes? I held up that square steamer at my, my first two classes so far this year, and everybody's like, I want to book in February. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have that many dates left. I'm like, Karen, I only have so many dates left. And I'm like, okay, but it's such a great booking tool. So use it, you guys, okay? And also the taste test is just something fun. So if you've had a customer buying from you right away in August when we went live and they're looking for something new, we always got something new coming out. We've got sales and specials from the company. So really, I encourage you to keep all your profit in your pocket and utilize what the company has for you. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So you're all coming to conference. Good. I wrote that down that every person on this call, and I took a picture of all of you, so I'll know who signed up for conference. Okay, next up, quick training topic. So training this month, you guys, many of you were here in December and did what was called a booking blitz as a company. Who participated in the booking blitz? Lots of you. Okay, let's get, someone tell me what you thought of the booking blitz. Someone tell me what your, either what your stats were or what you thought of it. Who hasn't shared yet? Jennifer Emmy, you never talk. You should share. I don't know if she's going to. She probably wants to kill me right now. No, no, you're fine. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, sorry, I'm getting over a cold, so that's okay. I might lose my voice, but um, I thought it was a good idea. I wish I would have had more notice about it. Um, you know, they spring it on us last minute, and unfortunately, I had some prior engagements that I had to take care of. Um, and then with it just being December, I mean, you could message a hundred people, but everybody's busy doing their thing. And, um, I had two people message me back. So I booked two parties out of it. Um, that's amazing. You're acting like nobody got back to you at all. Oh, I got two parties out of it. No big deal. I, I was hoping for more, but that just means I have more follow-up to do. So 
And this segues into my very first topic about booking. Let's talk about follow-up. So a couple of you have said some things on this call that already made me raise my ears like this, like if I was an animal and I wrote down some notes. So when I hear somebody say, I need to circle back, my brain can't get on, I need to circle back because you should already have circled back if you're saying I need to circle back. So there's your reality kick in the pants for that. So make your list tonight when we get off this call. That's why I'm going to try to keep this timely. I'll go fast. Make your list before you go to bed, you guys. This is a key tip. If you don't work well on lists, fine. Grab your calendar and write it in your calendar, but make sure you know who did not get back to you from the booking blitz. Or if you're brand new, who has not gotten back to you that you've reached out to? And it's okay to go back to them and simply validate the truth. I'm checking back in because Epicure is my job and I'm sure you're not thinking about Epicure all the time. Winky face. Or say, I'm sure life got busy and it's my job to check back with you and see how I can bless you in 2020. Wanted to circle back to that class we were talking about in the fall. Wanted to circle back to the business opportunity here. Wanted to circle back to that order you were thinking about putting in. Guys, that's your job. It's your job to do that. Orders don't just come flying at me. I might, you, you probably think that, or maybe you think that. I promise you, I do a lot of follow-up and I'm terrible at it. That's why I have a marker board there where I list people that tell me to like, you know, flag them for a little bit later down the road. And if they tell me anything in the current month, it goes in my planner so that I make sure I check back. And then you know what? People treat it serious. They don't tell me to follow up if they don't actually want to do business with me because they know I'm going to check back. This isn't the, don't push me off with that excuse because I'm actually going to check back. And so I guess, and Jennifer, this isn't aimed at you at all, but thank you for saying the word follow up because it really is a thing. My biggest tip for you tonight, if you need to get bookings on your calendar start, you just got to ask. Go back and ask again. They, they forgot that you asked them. They're not ghosting you like Christy said. They don't care if you've done another business. They don't care that you're new here or old here. They don't care if you're a senior director or a brand new consultant. You just got to ask people and you got to check back. There are yeah. words to ask people for a class in our sample event in our team page. So under, under events, sample cooking class, scroll down to like June, I think it is. You'll see some sample words. I posted them around Christmas time. So a couple of them say the word Christmas. You can just change that to be new year or whatever. But there's some sample words. And also actually, if you just search in our team page, words to use or booking, you'll find tons of training tips and topics on this. Um, but really it just comes back to circling back and checking back in. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, now let's talk about Jennifer's two classes she booked. So Miss Jennifer Emmy, who felt like two was a disappointment. Let's all kick her through the screen. And then let's tell her now what's going to happen. So she just created two new booking chains, as Mary would say. She's going to go into those classes and she's going to crush it because she's awesome. She's knowledgeable. She's plugged into her business. And when she does, the number one goal is to leave those classes with not just one class, which replaces her current class that she's doing, but at least two or three. Anybody know what the best way to book at classes are? Who wants to share? Best way to book at your classes to keep your booking chains going? Ask everyone. Yes, first tip, ask every single person. Doesn't matter if they just declared in front of the whole room, they are the busiest doctor that ever worked the planet and they work weekends and nights and every time and they don't even have time to eat. You still ask them. In fact, they need Epicure more than anyone. What else? What else do you do? Why do I never leave a class without a booking? It gets the host another half off product. I make it about what it's, what's in it for them. Exactly. I make it about how the hostess is going to get a half price exclusive, um, you know, that she can pick. And a lot of people choose the big items like the steamer or the Epic Life collection. And then I say, what, what does that person get when they book at their class? The class that they're attending. What does that potential booking get that night? Booking reward. They get the booking certificate. And guys, this is how big I use these. Hold on, let me show you. Just in case I felt like I was gonna run out, I ordered a bunch of these stacks to keep in my office. This is probably a little bit excessive because there's like, I don't know how many in each one. But I get to my class and right away, if you've ever been to one of my demos, if you've never shadowed myself and your local, you're invited to come with me to any class or shadow your leader. But I hold this up right away and I say who I am. We do introductions and I tell them upfront, you are going to fall in love with everything you see tonight. You are going to want to grab one of these and come to check out with it. And we'll date your class. Epicure wants to reward you for booking off a of Sally's party, an additional $20 of your choice. So come grab this. Let's talk about your data checkout. And then Sally gets more hostess rewards because of it. Does that feel natural to all of you? Does that feel weird or icky? 
No. And if you like right from the start, then start to see all the epic here and you're like thinking your wish list is huge, you automatically grab one of these and you come to check out. And then I know they're a hundred percent serious. So my conversation doesn't have to be, are you interested in booking or have you ever thought about it? Or would you be? It's like amazing. Were you thinking February or March? If you've ever been to one of my classes, you'll just see that it's my confidence that books them because I just know that truly everybody should want to have a class. It's fun. It's free for them. And even if they don't care about the free, it's helping their family and friends eat good, clean food. Who wouldn't be on board with that? So that's my biggest tip. Any other tips for booking at your classes? What else do you do to book at your classes? Or what, do you, what should you be doing that maybe you avoid doing, but you know you should do it? That's the best question. When you're going through the demo showing, um, oh, your wish list is probably growing now that you want the cutting mats and you want the steamer and you want the knife. How can you score all those goodies for free? Host a class of your own. You got it, Sarah. Sarah, you just nailed the biggest nugget. Before I even get to Sonia's tip asking everyone, it's so important that I start at the beginning with a seed. I plant at least one or two seeds in the middle. And when I'm wrapping up my party, I say something. You guys always ask me for words. So I really came to this call tonight with words. I open it with an opener like you guys heard me say. Your wish list is going to grow along. You're going to want everything tonight. Make sure you take one of these certificates. In the middle, I do what Sarah said. Now, all of you are wowed by the steamer, right? The chicken doesn't look weird. Who thinks this is awesome? Everybody laughs because everybody's so afraid of the microwave cooking. See, Liv just raised her hand. She's in. And then I say something like, <laughs> um, so before we you know, wrap up here and I finish the demo and stuff, just a reminder, you're all going to want a cooking class. So come grab these vouchers. So I plant that seed in the middle, like Sarah said. And then my closer sounds like, okay. I know all of you came here tonight looking for a job and ready to book an Epicure party. I am sure that's why you came to support Sally. And again, this is my humor. That might not be your humor, but every one of you just smiled. So I know it works. People are like, Haha, I didn't come here looking for a job. And then I say, I never went to my first food party looking for a job or thinking I was going to book. I went there to buy healthy meal solutions because I was a CrossFitter in that season of my life and I fit the bill. I left there thinking I should have a party, but maybe I should buy the business kit. So let me quickly tell you what you're going to do. If you could use income or some financial anything, whether it's a shoe fund, a mani pedi, spoiling your grandkids, whatever it is, I want to talk to you. And if you could use a new career because your current job sucks, to just be honest, I'd love to talk to you. But if you're like, I don't know about the business, although the discount's enticing, I'm not sure, then let's set up a cooking class. Because honestly, again, it helps Sally. And I hope you guys had fun. I mean, I think my dry sense of humor is at least it made you giggle a few times. People laugh. And I say, seriously, though, let's make sure we talk about a date because I am booking out quite a ways and I want to get you on the books. You get the voucher Looks and delicious. we can talk about the details. And what's kind of funny, there is nothing fresher is that just me super I, I can hear somebody just so you know mary's showing up so i don't know if it's something in the background like, uh, mary mary just me playing on your end um i don't think i Yes. Okay. I was like, so I was like, is that just in my ear? Cause it sounded very like muffled and weird. Okay. Anyway, so that's kind of how I wrap up the class. And then I say, PS, bring your book over, um, bring your order form over. I'm going to enter your order tonight on the computer. This is what I do. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm going to enter your order tonight on the computer. So if anybody needs to get out of here first, come see me right away. I'll get you checked out. I'll get you on your way. What's super cool. You guys, is I'm not going to take your payments home with me tonight. I'm actually going to load them right in the computer. So credit card is preferred method of payment. If you'd like to use a check or cash, as long as you have exact change, you can. And I can't wait to spoil each of you in the future with your own shopping spree. But really tonight is all about Sally. Thank you again, Sally, for gathering us. Did everybody have fun? Who's ready to get some food? That's how I do that. Those are my words. And again, that changes slightly each crowd. I love what Sarah Jessica told me. She scans the crowd throughout the night and makes sure like if there's a ton of, um, you know, later season women in the room, they're spoiling grandkids more than they're worried about a college fund for their five-year-old, right? Where for some moms, if they're young, they're worried about paying for diapers, man, diapers are expensive and formula and things. So you kind of can gear it to who you have in the crowd. And same thing for having a party. Some people are super motivated by free, but be careful that you only, that you don't only talk about the free. Notice how I said, no matter what, we'll have fun and you're helping your family and friends. Some people are not motivated by free products. doesn't matter how much free they're getting. I have 90% of my hostesses don't spend their free rewards until they're coming up on their 30 days. I actually have to remind them. I work with a lot of clientele that do this because they either like myself they love the products or they want to just have their family and friends over. 
for a night. So be careful that you're not only marketing to what I would call somebody who can't afford it in their mind. You want to have all different um, types of hostesses. So that's my tip for this month is booking at your classes and getting those chains going. I'm going to read the comments quick. Any other thoughts on that? Does anybody want to add anything? Sonia had said so smart to have new exclusives or something new all the time. And Rose just said that she agrees. She has um, two young kids while on the way and this business is for diaper money. So true for everybody. It's different. Okay. Takeaways so we can, Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say real quick. The one thing that I try to um, share often is the number of attendees doesn't make or break your class. So yes. don't be disappointed if your hostess says there's only going to be two or three people there. Some of my best classes have had only two or three people there. So don't let number, don't let the headcount that will be at your class have you prejudging the, um, the outcome. I would 100% agree with that. And that's a great way to make sure you book as well because um, when they're not afraid about how many is coming, it takes the pressure off of them and they're more likely to like, say yes and give it a shot. I also like to use the word, I'll pencil it in if you're super nervous and we'll check in, you know, a couple weeks beforehand, a week beforehand, and we can always change it to online or we can cancel it all together. So I think using that language of being okay with it, almost always the party sticks. And if it's not sticking, then it wasn't going to be a good party anyway and count it as a blessing and spend trick for you. Spend 90 minutes in your office Anytime a party cancels, get in the car. Don't even tell your family the party canceled, to be honest. If you, if you, you think it's going to mean that you're just going to get interrupted and drive off to the coffee shop and work. You'll make just as much income if you check in with customers' orders, book future classes, talk to potential teammates. That's a trick for you I've done for years. I did that even when I worked full-time. If a class canceled, I came in and I worked still. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you're focused. Okay, action items. Call to action after this month's meeting. Number one, well, point five, keep kicking ass. I wrote that down because I don't think I say that enough. Congratulations on everybody's successes. So proud to be in business with you. The real number one, make sure that you've talked to somebody about your vision. Talk to me, talk to Sonia, talk to Jess Huffman, talk to Sarah, talk to whoever is your upline leader or myself and just get clear on what you want to do here. What makes Epicure worth it for you? What do you want to accomplish this year as a family, in your personal life, in your health and fitness? Um, whether you do a vision board or not, you guys know I'm a huge vision board advocate, but, but outside of that, honestly, you have to know why you're here or you won't be compelled or fueled enough to keep going when it gets hard. That's number one. Number two, fill that calendar. It's double credits. We've got this awesome mandolin. We know some sneak peek things coming up next. And we know later this year, you're going to want to have a strong business when you walk into conference and a strong business when that new catalog launches. So fill your calendar and fill your calendar is always defined by what you decide. So you might want four events. I might want 20. I don't I actually want eight. Um, Rose might want 15. Everybody's different. Fill your calendar to what you want it to be because that's going to create the success you want. Number three, commit to being laser focused on booking off your classes. Because when you leave and you just shrug your shoulders and you're like, it was great. I had $500 in sales, but I didn't book anybody. That creates the slow decline in business that you worked so hard to start to build. It actually takes, it's, it's like a roller coaster. It's like getting to the top and what could keep going as a super exciting ride actually just kind of ends because you didn't create that next loop on the chain. So I really want you to commit to working hard on booking off your classes. And if you leave a class and you didn't book, set your mind to reaching out to people until you book somebody outside of that class then. Always replace the class you just did. And I promise you, you'll have an amazing business in 2020. And last, if you did not get to catch the video of Nate Ian McCulley, although a little helter skelter because that is what working at home looks like, on December 30th, we made a video and I'd like you to go watch it, not because I want you to see me talking again, but because Nate said a few things in there that I know hit home with a few of you because you've told me they hit home with a few of you. He is huge on momentum and that's just always what he, he believes started me out strong is I wanted to change people's lives when I started this business and I've stayed in that mission, but obviously it became much, 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 much more than a few people a month or whatever my initial goals were. Now it's become huge and I have huge vision, but it all starts with a little momentum, being consistent in your recipe club, 
using the products, loving what we do here. When you're worried, scared, have a complaint, something's going on, reach out to your leader. You don't have to, to bash the company on Facebook or you don't have to, to lodge a complaint in a public setting. We'll help you. We'll help you talk it out loud. We'll help you get unstuck. We'll help you get something replaced if it's broken, whatever it is. But honestly, it's little baby steps that add up to huge momentum. And Nate touches on that in that video. And he also, um, as best as we could, because Macaulay turned into like a hot mess and he was running around the kitchen and like knocking things over and he threw something at Nate in the video and we had to put him on timeout. But in there, he says, you know, just you have to keep it going. And so many of you will be on a high coming out of December or January, and we want you to, to avoid the low that can be after that. So I just would like for you, tip number four, is go watch that video and comment below it with your takeaways, but you'll see it. So anybody want to ask a question or add anything, I'm going to end the recording, but I will stay for just a minute or